Introducing the DEC Microjet 10, the world's smallest R&D micronizer. Perhaps the most advanced design of its type, designed completely with CFD technology, proven with real world products. The assembly begins with the new base plate for the Microjet 10 being assembled into the existing MC1 base plate. The jet ring is then added. With the jet ring in place, the filter assembly and product collection system is added. The product is collected and filtered simultaneously as part of the micronizing process. The main monoblock assembly is then readied for connection to the micronizing system. This is simply tri-clamped in place, ready for use. The final connection is the high pressure hose onto the internal jet assembly. With everything firmly tightened, the Microjet 10 is ready for use. The first pre-operational check is to ensure that the system has no leaks. With this complete, the Venturi is assessed to ensure there is sufficient vacuum on the process. Product is then added to one of the pre-sized scallop sections prior to operating the micronizing system. The appropriate section should be filled depending on the quantity to be micronized. As you can see, a variety of sized scallop sections are available depending on the quantity to be micronized. Once full, the micronizing process can begin. The base unit is turned on and the main pressures adjusted accordingly. With this complete, the operation of micronization can begin with a gentle turn of the top section. This allows product to fall at a constant rate down through into the Venturi, down via the jet into the main micronizing body, micronizing the product which is then collected in the filter assembly at the base of the unit. By having this single collection and filtering point all of the product is collected with 100% recovery with regards to the yield. A very important point in relation to R&D products. With all the product introduced into the micronizing system, the process can be stopped in a highly controlled manner ensuring that all the micronized product is collected in the filter sock below the unit. The product can then be removed and the micronizing system is ready for disassembly. This very simply is a reverse of the construction process. Firstly the main tri-clamp is removed followed by the main body. and the main high pressure hose to the jet nozzle. As can be seen, the new highly engineered internal system and redesigned jet ring and micronizer show little signs of product buildup. And with the incredibly high velocities generated inside the new micronizer, nanoparticle production can be achieved. Finally, with the jet ring removed and the main triclover seal removed, the new Microjet 10 is ready for cleaning.
And there we have a new CFD engineered fourth generation Microjet 10, the smallest working jet mill in the world, your perfect R&D partner. <laughs>